Some news just coming in. The center's big tribute to Netaji Modi has tweeted the Prime Minister and I quote him, till the grand statue of Netaji Bose is completed, a hologram statue of this, of him is going to be present at the same place. I will unveil the hologram statue on the 23rd of January, Netaji's birth anniversary. Paul Misa is getting asked more details on that big story. Now, there is a controversy that has been brewing over the appropriation of the legacy of Netaji with the BJP and the TMC, both of them in it. And this, in fact, is going to be seen as a huge outreach of the center when it comes to Netaji's legacy, isn't it? That's right. Uh, the center already had announced uh, earlier that it would be, in fact, uh, you know, kick-starting the Republic Day celebrations uh, across uh, the country from the 23rd of January, uh, which is, of course, uh, the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Uh, and uh, now, of course, uh, the government announcing, uh, the Prime Minister himself, in fact, announcing from his Twitter handle that, indeed, in order to commemorate uh, the contribution of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose to India's freedom struggle, uh, they will, in fact, be uh, installing a granite statue at uh, the India Gate, a hologram in image of uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose will be, uh, uh, you know, uh, installed over there, present over there, until that statue is installed. And that will be, in fact, uh, inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi on the 23rd of January, which is, of course, the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. This is the 125th uh, year of uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's uh, birth anniversary. So this is, of course, uh, the big outreach from the central government. We did see, of course, uh, uh, a war of words, uh, which had, in fact, uh, ensued, especially with the West Bengal government saying that their tableau for the Republic Day Parade, which had in fact paid homage uh, to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, a son of the soil, um, was in fact rejected by the government. It was uh, later clarified by the government, especially in a letter that the Defence Minister wrote to Ms. Mamta Banerjee, uh, saying that in fact uh, the CPWD tableau does uh, again uh, commemorate uh, the contribution of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. And as far as the rejection of uh, the West Bengal uh, tableau is concerned, it did go through a certain process, uh, an expert committee of uh, various experts who belong to the field of arts, culture, uh, etc. did have a look at all the tableau, the 29 proposals that were received and in the final stages, it was uh, 12 tableau were in fact uh, um, approved by the expert committee. So the government had no hand to play uh, in this and it was uh, a decision of the expert committee and the government does in fact, uh, you know, hold Netaji and his contribution in high regard. And this is, of course, uh, the government again extending, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it's uh, making its own outreach and uh, demonstrating how they do, in fact, respect Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and his legacy. Yes, and it's not just the centre, Palmi. This is uh, being done by the BJP. In many of the BJP rule states, we're all out, uh, where in fact state governments are going all out there uh, to commemor commemorate the 125th birth anniversary of Netaji. It's being celebrated in Haryana, in Karnataka, and different parts of the country, mostly in BJP rule states. Well, uh, yes, uh, the BJP, like I said, the central government has announced that they will be, in fact, starting Republic Day celebrations now onwards from the 23rd of January, which is uh, the birth anniversary of Netaji uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. And hence, uh, there are programs which are being organized across uh, the country, uh, you know, in order to commemorate the memory of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Last year, ahead of uh, the assembly elections in 2021, uh, we did see Prime Minister Modi, in fact, uh, go to Kolkata and attend various uh, programs, including uh, one at Victoria Memorial. Again, uh, this was on the birth anniversary of uh, Netaji uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. He did meet some members of his family as well. He did go to the museum, which is in fact, uh, and the research center, which is run uh, by uh, some family members who in fact uh, have uh, various artifacts uh, of uh, Netaji's legacy present over there. So clearly, uh, the BJP and the central government, uh, uh, you know, uh, acknowledging the contribution of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and saying that, um, you know, despite uh, certain criticism coming in over the rejection of the West Bengal government tableau, uh, the BJP and the central government are showcasing that they indeed, in fact, respect 
uh, and of course salute the legacy of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and his contribution to the Indian freedom struggle. Yes, uh, be with us. Netaji Skin, Abhijit Ray is also now joining us. Thank you for your time. How do you respond to what the Prime Minister has said today? The Prime Minister essentially in a tweet has spoken about the grand statue of Netaji made of granite. He says it's going to be installed at India Gate and this would be a symbol of India's indebtedness to him essentially. Then, for the time being, there's going to be a hologram statue. Well, uh... The idea of a sta erecting a statue is very good. But you see, what you have said, that uh, Netaji's contribution in the uh, Indian, Indian independence movement, that is yet to be established by any of the government. Because we do not find anything about Netaji's con contributions in the textbook of history. Now, my... I, I would like to talk straight that if 1857 was the first war of independence fought, then the last war of independence against the British were fought in 1944 by the Azadian foes under the leadership of Netaji. And because of that uh, war in 1944, British were compelled to leave India. Now, this particular truth is not yet established in the textbook. So we demand hmm. that it should be written and documented in the textbook in all schools and colleges and universities. And do you expect this the BGP government one. in the center, sir, to do this or these expectations are from uh, state governments as well, like the West Bengal, the TMC government in West Bengal? See, no West Bengal, no government, whether it is state or center, has taken any initiative of updating the history. I'm sorry to say, yeah, statues, erecting a statue is all right. But the thing is that history should be rewritten. The true history of Indian independence movement should be written and properly documented in the textbooks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. So you heard from the kin of uh, Netaji who says that history should be rewritten and that is a befitting tribute to Netaji. आजादी के बाद दिल्ली में कुछ गिने चुने परिवारों के लिए ही नव निर्माण हुआ लेकिन आज देश उस संकीर्ण सोच को पीछे छोड़कर नए गौरव स्थलों का निर्माण कर रहा है उन्हें भव्यता दे रहा है ये हमारी ही सरकार है जिसने दिल्ली में बाबा साहब मेमोरियल का निर्माण किया ये हमारी ही सरकार है जिसने रामेश्वरम में एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम स्मारक को बनवाया इसी तरह नेपाजी नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस और श्याम जी कृष्ण वर्मा जैसे महापुरुषों के साथ जुड़े हुए स्थानों को भव्यता दी गई